Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I want to talk about this machine I have in front of me here. This is a Kiwi watch cleaning machine. Now if you're an aspiring watchmaker, hobbyist, whatever, you will know the importance of one of these machines. Now this will enable you, once you have the movement stripped down, to fully clean your watch properly. Now they can be tremendously expensive. If you want to get a top automatic one of these, it can cost you way north of £10,000 with no problem at all. Now you can, which was the way I was looking at first, buy a second-hand product, but then you don't know if it works properly. A lot of them are vintage models, and so subsequently you might find that the heater module doesn't work or one of the spin, um, the motor makes a noise, whatever. But this one is different, and I like this because what it is... It comes out of um, New Zealand and um, basically you pay $99 and Frank, the guy who runs it, he will then send you all the files so you can get all this exterior black and white um, items you see here. He will send you all those so you can get them printed. For a further $99, he will include this display screen here. Now, this display screen is superb. It makes it so simple and easy to use. There is another option, to, but he did say he was gonna phase that out. Now, so once you buy all this, he will also send you the um, links where you have to buy all this hardware. So you can see there's a motor in here, all the shank on here, the bearings down here, this big shank here, and basically, um, how to put it all together. Now, I've already done a build video on this. Um, it's one of those things which seems incredibly complicated when you first get it, but step by step, you actually realise it's not too bad. Now, overall, if I show you this, well, let's start on the screen at the top here. This controls everything. So at the moment, we're on wash. Then we have spin cycle. That is your dry and that is your um, system's set up. If I click on that, you can see it's very easy and intuitive to use. So if I want to go back, click, and it goes back. Let me actually show you it in action. So what I like is when you buy it, he gives you options. Now these are called the fancy baskets because they're tremendously expensive. They cost, I think it was delivered um, £120. I should put into account that uh, one thing I should let you know, the overall build price of this, it cost me £450. So for a new unit, that is pretty, that's pretty amazing, really. One thing I would say um, for transparency, Frank actually sent me the printed parts over. So to be fair, um, I don't know how much it costs to 3D print parts. I don't believe, well, I'm, I'm not very knowledgeable on that. But that's one thing he did do for me, so I'd, what you call it, help him out with a review. So just to make you aware, I want to be completely transparent there. So this item here, I say £120. Now, baskets are super important. And as you can see, these ones are really nice quality. I do have Alma ones at work, where I work, but these are really good to have at home like this. So that's your baskets. You would put the watch parts in here. And this is a little turbine thing to go on there. And then you plug it in, you put it in like this. Let's just raise that up a little bit. And just put this down. I've got this set very low to make sure it's very snug, as you can see here. So that's it in position there. Now, what you would do, how you operate this, the first cycle you would do. So once you've got a watch, yeah, one of your actual watchmen's fully stripped down. This is where you put it in first. Now I'm using Alinar Cleaner. Now, as you can see, I've been using it a bit because this has started to go quite cloudy. You'll use this cycle first, then rinse one, rinse two, and heat. So if I put it in this fluid, so you can actually see how it actually operates. So let's just move this away a little bit here so you can see how it looks. One second. Let's zoom this down a little bit. Now, you would drop this into the liquid like that. Obviously, it'd have watch parts in there. And this thing goes down into the liquid and sits in like that. 
So it's all flushed down and then I could put that on a wash cycle. And that's it, that's a wash cycle there. One thing I am thinking of doing is making some wave breakers here. Cause the good thing is being it's 3D printed, you can either have round or square. So I'm thinking uh, someone pointed out to me about making wave breakers, so I might do that. It's a little bit faster at the moment. You want to keep the uh, bubbles down to a minimal. But once it's done its cycle, the good thing is, as you can see up here, I've got it set for five minutes, which is quite short really. But you can alter the spin cycle, how many times it uh, spins one direction before it spins back, acceleration, the full works. Now, once you've finished that cycle, so I'll just bring this back here. I would actually then, so I'm gonna simulate here and stop. So that will now stop that. You would then lift it out, he says. So once it's out of the liquid there, I would put it on a spin cycle. And what it does, it spins the excess fluid off the actual, um, out of the baskets there. So that spins off the excess fluid that normally I've got set to go for one minute. Now, I'm gonna turn it off. And that then turns off. So lift it up. Now one thing I would say, when I first built this, I did find that the spinning this round on this shaft was a little bit awkward, but it has kind of um, subsequently kind of loosened up now. So it does feel a lot better. So. You would normally then go to the next cycle, but what I'm gonna show you is the heater module. So put it onto heat, and that then will spin, and you place that down into the heat of it there. And as you can see there, so that is now rotating down there. It could actually go a bit lower than that. And I've got that cycle on for 11 minutes because it's really super important that you do actually um, dry out the components. I'll give you a quick idea how the parts look when you come out of it. I'll turn that off now. The heater stays on for an extra minute just to cool down. So here, this I cleaned a few days ago actually, so uh, projects I was working on. But you can see these parts are lovely and clean. Now, you've got to obviously keep your cleaning fluid uh, clean. Once it gets too dirty, you have to change it. But overall, I just think it's excellent. It's one of these um, tools which any aspiring watchmaker needs. They really are super handy. The good thing is with this one, because you have actually made it yourself, You've actually put everything together. You know exactly how this unit works. So if there's ever a problem, you have the ability to take it apart and fix it. The only thing I wouldn't know anything about is the electronic parts in here, but I was one who wired them all up and so forth. As you can hear it now, it turns off. The actual heater module, as you can see, comes down there. So that's it. I'll just put it back in there. So no, I think for the money, this is just an amazing bit of kit. It's one of these things you really do need if you are an aspiring watchmaker or I say a proper watchmaker. It's something you really do have to get. You can, some people use ultrasonics and don't get me wrong, ultrasonics are okay, but they don't clean as well as a proper um, machine like this will actually clean your parts. Now, obviously you want to get good fluids. I've used in the Allen R. There are other fluids out there, but this seems very good. So overall, I think for the price and the fact that you're getting a new item, it's really, really good. Um, I personally would recommend it, but you know, it's up to you. I think out there when you're looking at a new watch cleaning machine, there's very few options because mostly everything is secondhand. There are a few, I know there's one, uh, an Indian company who make them, but I've heard mixed reviews, I've heard the baskets can rust, and you're faced with import taxes and so forth when you get it. This being that it's a file system, you don't have any of that. So it is kind of quite interesting, but you can buy it printed at home. Okay, when you import some of this stuff, but it's all, um, the import prices are all on there straight away. 
And I say it did work out for me £450 and personally I think it's a well worth investment for any watchmaker. So anyway, I'll leave you to it guys. Hope you enjoyed the little review of this item and most importantly, stay safe out there. Bye.